So today we're taking down this tree. I got a lift and I've got what I think is the best chainsaw possibly for it. We'll tell you all about it in just a minute. Here we go. So I'm up here with the tree I'm trying to take down and I'm using the still MS-193T. It's doing an awesome job. It's a lightweight saw. It's helping me get inside the tree and do all the limbing I need to. So um, as you can see, the tree is right here. Well, it's over there behind me. Uh, got the aerial view going. I work my way in from the side and I'm dropping down the limbs one by one so it's a lot smaller and a lot easier so we don't drop it on anyone. It's a very controlled way to do this. So it's actually working out quite well. But I was, while I was up here, I was able to get a shot of the house. And it's almost like we have a drone. So we've been living for a little bit. We'll check our fuel and it's time. So something we found to help us out when we are working with our chainsaws, we'll link this down in our Amazon account below. Um, it's a two-in-one com combo can. So it holds your chainsaw fuel and your barrel. Um, two parts chainsaw fuel, one part barrel, because you use it at about two to one of a ratio. So you're using twice the fuel that you're using barrel. Um, but with this can, I changed out the nozzles because the new EPA nozzles are terrible. But um, I'm able to just take it out, pour in some fuel when I need to, top off my barrel, and get back cutting and it works quite well. That's my pal. Proud of my pal. So we got the 455 wrench right now. It's got a lot bigger bar, a lot more powerful. We're through all the limbs. We can get this down to a stump and then we're done for right now. I think we done moved all we can move. I'm out of gas. Dylan done hit the pavement. He's done. I think Monica's even tired of filming. So, I'm gonna get a few more cuts on this and we'll be done. Guys, I don't know if y'all couldn't tell, but I'm not a professional arborist or sawyer or tree trimmer of any count. I'm just a bit of a redneck with a plan. And, uh, Thank the good Lord, I got lucky this time and didn't get hurt. But, some things I learned in the process. When you're doing chainsaw work, get you a box. Keep all your stuff in it. Your chaps, your fuel, your barrel, uh, spare chains. This is my log that I cut my wood to link for the uh, fireplace. Gloves, keep it all together. That way you just gotta grab one thing in your saw and it's time to go to work. So, today I actually ended up using three saws. I used a Husqvarna. This is the 455 Rancher. I used the Steel MS-193T. And I used this little goober, the Steel Limb Saw. I got made fun of the entire time I used this by my wife but it ended up being quite handy because holding these two saws with people down working around you they get heavy so every once in a while I needed a break for my shoulder and I would grab this and set this in the bucket and I was able to pull a limb to me and you rake it across there once or twice and it popped it every time the limb and I had to catch the limb and lower it down so this actually did really good your wife's gonna make fun of you fellas but I'd recommend getting one um, the stump work or the big tree work we did with this saw, this is the workhorse. It does great. I got this for our firewood. Um, the firewood rounds we get are quite large, so we needed a bigger saw. Um, and then this little guy's my limb saw, and we talked about that earlier. All right, so if I had to do today without one of the three saws, to be honest, it would be without the big saw. Um, this guy was a lifesaver for both how easy it is to maneuver around inside the tree and just what it does. It's a workhorse. I know it's tiny. looks funny. 
but he's a workhorse or she or whatever it um thank y'all for watching hope you had a good time if you learned something cool um i didn't mess up anything nobody got hurt so i call it a win uh hope y'all take care we'll see you next week Trying to kill me. Can't work under these conditions. <laughs>